I heard there was there was noise, you know, like like searching. They think, come on, come on, come on. There's nothing I can do. The chief officer told me that one of the crew members told him that he saw Chief Toward take me from his room. That means he stole away me in his room. So I have to say the truth. Otherwise, they're going to dump me at sea. So if they want to do anything, they can do to me without nobody seeing anything. I thought it was a joke. And then they went and brought a rope and they tied my hands. And then they took me to the middle of the ship. And then they took me from the ship and hung me the side of the ship. They put me inside the water and they were still asking me questions. The water was just on my chest. And then I heard the ship started sailing. We sailed from where we are for one hour, still hanging. And they would go and come and ask me, do I want to tell the truth? I said, I came to the ship myself. They said, no, we should tell us who brought you in the ship. I suppose he didn't tell you on television thinking Brass of Fair, the bargain say they are now Matuachi no Papa Bill, uh opinion of Collins. Or a Canadian based in the United Kingdom, London to be precise. Me fear in the Tottenham studio. Now he's one person who's too too acquiring. Some more kind of first interview with him on this particular platform. Or tre or you stow away best seven, six times. So Minimum crunk also. We are called Argentina, we are called US, we are called Canada, we are called UK, we are called Sierra Leone, we are called Togo, we are called Benin, we are called Egypt, we are called Mali, we are called. In a home call here. Apart from Australia and Japan. Apart from Japan and Australia. I've been traveling all over the place. You've been in China? China, yes, I've been to China at the time they were building their their country. China. Mm -hmm. Supply iron ore from Brazil, Argentina to China. You've been to places? Yes, I've been to a lot of places. You've been to France? Oh, France is just a, you know, I, I used to drive all the time in France. From Belgium to France so far. And uh, you've been to Netherlands, I mean, the European oh, countries? All, all the European countries. Mm -hmm. I've been driving from one place to another. I've been traveling from London to Cologne, Aachen, and the city of. Have you been to Argentina? I've been to Argentina. I've been to Argentina. We had a contract in Brazil and we were there for six years. So we do go to Argentina to take iron ore. And there's a place called uh, uh, Kobota. It's in the middle of uh, Argentina. You pass through Buenos Aires. It's about two days uh, in the canal. Together. But Argentina is surrounded by water, right? Yeah, yeah, but not really. But when you are going to Brazil, there's, uh, there's a canal. So from Argentina to that Cordoba, it's about two days. From Buenos Aires? From Buenos Aires to Cordoba, it's two days in uh, a journey, two day journey. Through canal. Okay, so I want us to do something. How many European countries have you been so far? Um, I've been uh, start from Las Palmas to Spain. Las Palmas is a part of Spain, but it's an island. So Las Palmas, Spain, and then another island in Spain called uh, Palma Mallorca. I've been to Ibiza, also it's an island for Spain. I've been to Palermo in uh, Italy here. Um, I've been to Greece, Patras and uh, um, Corinthians and all those places. I've been there. I've been to Israel. I've been to Jordan. I've been to Saudi Arabia, Jeddah, the capital of Saudi Arabia. And then in Europe, I've been to Germany, um, Holland. I was in Belgium for 12 years. And uh, France, Luxembourg, and Spain. I have been to Portugal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've made a transit in Portugal once. Have you been to Sweden, Austria? Have you been to. Uh, I've been to Denmark, I've been to Norway, I've been to Finland. 
and I've made a chance in Sweden. Yeah. But you've not been to Hungary. Hungary, I've been to Hungary. Oh, okay. Yeah. But have you, have you been to Brazil? I've been to Brazil. I know a Brazil well. Mm -hmm. I know from uh, uh, from Recibi. There's a town called Vitoria. Mm -hmm. I've been to Santos. Mm -hmm. I've been to Rio de Janeiro. Mm -hmm. I've been to the capital called uh, Brasilia. So I know the coastal line of Brazil. I know that like, okay. Um, ha, ha, have you been to Colombia yet? I haven't been to Colombia. I don't. I haven't gone far the other side of Brazil, but uh, I've been to the the west coast. In the west side, I've been there. I've been to Panama. Uh, Panama. 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 I've been to Panama once, and then also US. I know from uh, North Carolina way to. Uh, Massachusetts, New York. I know New York very well. I drove from uh, Worcester to Virginia by road. Wow! But uh, Canada. I've been to Canada. I've been to Montreal and uh, Ottawa, Toronto. Wow! Wow! This man is a globe trotter. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to Africa, uh -huh. I know Mauritania right down to Gabon, mm -hmm. the West Coast. Mm -hmm. I know all around that place. Mention the mm -hmm. I know Mauritania, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea Bissau, and uh, Kibet Islands. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Guinea Conakry, Sierra Leone, Liberia. Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Togo, Benin, Nigeria, um, Cameroon, and um, Liberia. Liberia. I've been to Liberia. I've been living there for a while, for more than three years. Three times. I know that I was a footballer there. There's a club. There's a football club called uh, Port Authority. I play football for them as well. And uh, that time, there are some footballers like uh, Ewa, Atu Mensa, Ibrahim Labrown, uh, Odati Lamti. Oh, so you played with Odati Lamti? Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, of this one. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a sport broadcaster myself, but I thought Odati Lamti played in oh, okay, Belgium. And, uh, yeah, because he was in, uh, he was, he, if you meet him, ask him, he was in Sierra Leone playing for a Port Authority. There's a football club called Port Authority. And then a Wua in a two men's and uh, there's one Ghana keeper called Baker. Mm -hmm. They were all here, they were all in uh, Leon, uh, uh, Leon, so, uh, 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 is there, they are in the Premier League in Sierra Leone. Oh, okay. Okay. So, he's... Mr. Collins, Collins Amwa. Mr. Collins Amwa. I mean, he has traveled a lot. And I want us to play emphasis mm -hmm. on the, 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 the most dangerous stowaway you embarked. Uh, it, was, it was in Nigeria. Yes. Let us know what really happened. Well, there was a ship. I was a, I was a hostler in um, a Tinkal Island in Nigeria, and one day a boat came with a Panama flag, and the Panama flag, it, because Panama is a free port, a lot of ship register with them as well. So the ship came with a Filipino crew. So what do you mean by free ports? I mean there's country like Liberia, Panama, um, Cyprus. And uh, which are another country? There are some few countries in the world. They are free ports. I mean, if they say a free port, what does it mean? The free port means that uh, you can register your ship and you don't pay taxes to the country that you are registered. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, no tax. No tax. So a lot of uh, Singapore as well. Mm -hmm. People can some companies like Greek and the Germans and other big companies register their ship in Singapore and get a Singapore flag to fly their ship. Mm. Yeah. So there are so many few of them. Mm. So if you are using those country flag, you can use them to fly any any country. 
no matter where you are from. Okay, so let's come back to the main uh, discussion. The okay, the story, um, as I said, a ship came and there was a Filipino cruise with a Panama flag. And uh, because in Ghana, here, no, no, it was in Nigeria, Tinkan Island. And then when the ship came, I was so active in the port. So I got to know some of the crew members and uh, I started chatting with them. Sometimes I go, I go to the ship. When they finish jobs, we go out together. So the chief steward became my very good friend. And even though I promoted him and gave him like, a girlfriend in, the, in, in Lagos. So were you a pimp that time? I wasn't a pimp, but I know around the area. So I think the sailors there to destroy themselves. <laughs> So the man became my very good friend. At where? What happened? No, no, no. In the uh, Lagos State, uh, mm -hmm. Tinkan Island. Okay. So the guy, the chief steward, became my became a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So one day he told me that because of what I've done for him, he's going to help me to give me a cabin to wait. The cabin to wait is not easy. If a crew member devoted to help you. To store a ship and said that I will give you a cabin story. It's a very good thing, but there's also risk in it. So what happened was uh, a day before the ship will sail, the ship steward told, told me to prepare because the next day the ship will sail. So he gave me time to come on board the ship, and if I come, I should go. He will not close his door, so I should go straight to his cabin. So when I get to the ship, because the damn way knows me that I've been coming to the ship. So as soon as I get there, I just pass by and I went straight to the chief towards room. He was a Filipino. So he came and saw me and then he went to the kitchen and brought me some food to eat. And in his room, there's a, like a sofa. It's a, a wooden sofa and then there's a uh, mattress on top. So he told me that when I finish it, I should just lift it up and go and lie in there. He showed me how to do it. So after I finished eating, I just opened the thing and went inside. It was okay because it wasn't, there was no heat there. So I was there for about three hours. And then he came back and said, oh, the ship was almost on, uh, on, on his way, so we left the port, and we, I just got out from there and sit, sit on the, the sofa where I was sleeping. And then, so, which year was that? That was, um, mm, that was 1985. Oh, okay. That's fine. So, I mean, the next day, that means we are we have seen for a day. The second day, I was in the room. Where was the ship going? The ship was going to the states. And that time, I've been struggling. So I said, "This is my last time. So if I get to the states, that will be the end of my struggle." So two days at sea, he came and said, "Look, we have got a message to go back to Africa to Port Harcourt mm -hmm. to take a cargo." Immediately, my spirit just went down. And then I didn't know what happened. We sailed back with the, I don't know how the ship maneuvered. And then what I heard was we had anchorage. So he spent like three days? Yeah. Okay. So he came and said, Oh, the ship is in the anchorage in the worry. And because I've been sailing, so I know worry from worry to Port Harcourt is not far. And worry if your ship got anchored there, the, there's, a, the lake, there's a woman there, they do prostitution in the ship. Mm -hmm. And the night they will come to the ship with a boat, fishing boat. They will come with canoe. Canoes, yes. Do they, they, yes. Yes. yeah, they will come to the canoe. Like, how? Yeah, that's their job. Oh, so they will paddle it themselves? No, they, they have a speedboat. Oh, okay. So the boys will bring them, and when they get the money, they pay the boys. Nice girls. Yeah, beautiful ones. So I was in the in the room there. The chief worker came and said, "Oh, 
She got a girl, and the girl is beautiful. You want to sleep in there, and you want it will not uh, happy when I'm sitting down for him to do such a thing. So he's going to take me from his room and put me into the lifeboat. And I asked him, "Is it not dangerous?" He said, "No way. I know what to do." That's what the chiefs were told me. So he went, and 20 minutes time, 20 minutes later, he came and said, "I should follow him." So as we were going. I know he did whatever he could, so I was following him, not knowing one of the the crew members of the ship saw me and him coming out of his room and he took me to the black lifeboat. So I went there, I was sleeping and I heard the way there was noise, you know, like like searching. They said, come on, come on, come, 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 come on. And then I, I guess nothing I can do. So at I, night? No, it was in the it was in the daytime. So I came back. I came from the lifeboat and get down. And then the chief, the chief to work, ask, uh, chief to work, uh, the chief officer asked me, "How did you get in this place? We sent the ship. We didn't find you. So how did you manage to get the ship?" I said, "I did the ship away. They wanted to know where I hid myself." I told you that place, he said they said that they didn't see me. I didn't know whatever was going on. So later the chief officer told me that one of the crew members told him that he saw Chief Toward take me from his room. That means he stole away me in his room. So I have to say the truth. Otherwise, they go to dog me at sea. And then when you are the ship, where we were, you can see the land. But far away from the ship. So if they want to do anything, they can do it to me without nobody seeing anything. I thought it was a joke. So they would question me and threaten me, and I, I stand that I stood away the ship. Nobody helped me. I came to the ship on my own. Why didn't you tell them the truth? Yeah, because if I tell them the truth, the chief to one will lose his license mm -hmm. and he will go to jail as well. Okay. So the time they were, I mean, uh, forcing him to say the truth uh, was the chief around the one who had him. He was standing there, oh, okay. and I can see the tension on his face. So I have to do everything in my power not to expose him. So what happened? The the chief uh, the chief uh, the chief officer told the boatman, which is the you know the a guy who in charge of the deck. And then they went and brought a, a rope mm -hmm. and they tied my hands. And then they took me to the middle of the ship and used the clay and tie and hug, uh, hung me. And then they took me from the ship and hung me the side of the ship. How? They tied your hands? Yes. And, and then what happened? They tied, they tied my hands and this use the prey trying to put me they put me inside the water and they were still asking me questions oh so they hand you by your hands yes and lay, and then lay me beside the ship putting me inside the sea the sea wow what a punishment so the, the i was the water was just on my chest only so so five of, from this part to yes. your yeah, he, he went inside the water, and then this, I heard the ship started sailing. We sailed from where we are for one hour, and that time we were still hanging, still hanging. And they would go and come and ask me, "I want, do I want to tell the truth?" I said, "I came to the ship myself." They said, "No, we should tell us who brought you in the ship." Are you that busy, man? Need some housekeeping and security was away on a trip? Want a thorough cleaning job done? Or need a personal assistant? 
Jesamo has got you covered. We provide world-class care and cleaning services for your utmost satisfaction. Our services, nanny service, maternity service, cleaning service, private chauffeur, personal assistant, housekeepers, chef services, wedding services, private children, kids' food services. For any information, call us 0257-365-991. Info at jesamo.com. Website, www.jesamo.com. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Jesamo, Instagram, Jesamo underscore underscore, LinkedIn, Jesamo, Jesamo Services, World Class Services, at your doorstep. So they did it for one hour, I couldn't say anything. your hands. So what they did, they took me out from the water, and then my head, because if they tied you up, the blood, that is supposed to flow, it doesn't go. Mm -hmm. So my both two hands is like a gloves. Gloves. Must be gloves. So but for one hour, for one hour, hour, hour hanging, yes. That is the most horrible thing I ever went in my life during my hustle time. So after uh, one and a half hours. We were in Port Harcourt, but they put me in the town there, in the store room, because definitely we sail from the country, so the vision and customers have to come again. So uh, they had me over to Nigeria immigration. Oh, so you were being needed to yes on Nigeria, Nigeria immigration that time from it was Port Harcourt, yeah, Port Harcourt. and you, you, you were based in Lagos. Lagos. Port Harcourt to Lagos is far. It's far. So when the, the time the immigration people came on board, my the swallow because after they took their role, everything started going back to normal. Mm. So my hands were, but I was feeling pains in my hand, but I didn't complain to anybody. Even I didn't tell the immigration people. So the punishment they did, I couldn't even to tell them. So the man who helped you, the who, the 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 the, the chief, the chief officer, yeah, yeah, they had been. He came around again. Yeah, they they, they had given me to the information that I was the story. Oh, the man who helped you, he didn't say anything because you know his work and everything was at stake. I was at stake, so I did not betray him. So since then. I, we never met and we never heard from each other because that time there was no mobile phone or telephone number to communicate. Oh. So today, so were you crying, shouting when you go a hand? No, because I know, you know, I, I, at, at that point in time, it came into your mind that, oh, I'm not sure I will survive this. Well, because you see, yeah. Hustling is something that if you don't have the zeal, you can't do it because you need to take uh, risk in, in hustling or going to start away. But what was running through your mind at that particular point in time? That particular time, you know, because at that time I was young, I didn't have a girlfriend, I know I'm uh, just a young guy trying to survive in the world. So I was in my mind. I was thinking anything that I would do to survive in life. I don't care whether I died or alive, and that is in my mind. So apart from that two decision, nothing else. So, so, so it came into your mind that wow, you like to survive this, or probably they will by all means. Release me for me to go. What yeah. came into your mind? Because I, I've been stowing ships and doing all these things, you know, there was no fears in me. So my life is just my life. Like a risk? Yeah. If I survive, fine. If I don't, what else? No children. No, no children. No wife. Only maybe my brothers and sisters will hear it. And so what? So that's, that's me. So after you, you, you were being released mm -hmm. and handed over to the, the Nigeria, 
how did you manage to get into Lagos? Yeah, because when I uh, wanted the mission came and then they handed it over to them, they asked me where do I come from? I said I'm a Ghanaian, but I'm based in Lagos. But they did not give me any money, nothing even to buy food to eat. So they just took me and they left me at the gate to find my way. And I didn't know anybody in Port Harcourt. And the way that place is you known is different hustling than being in Lagos State. Because Lagos is a big city. We have two uh, two ports. We have a Papa port and Tinkan Island. So we can it's a it's a big variety. But if I stay in Port Harcourt, my chances to survive is slim. So I have to plan and find my way back to Lagos. So that time they have the big buses that load people from Port Harcourt to Licha to Lagos. And then the first day I slept at the water park. Mm. The next day there was a car loading to Lagos. And I said, look, I have to take this again. So I waited, waited, and the bus was almost full. And I knew people were going out to the bus and come out and you know. So I be like I made myself like a passenger. Mm -hmm. And I went and sit in the in the boat and the ship. But on look ship, no, uh, the bus. But the bus was not full. That's the lucky I made. Mm -hmm. The bus was not full. So they didn't know whether I have a ticket or I didn't have a ticket. And that was it. So I managed to stow away ship. Now I have to stow away a car. No, but let's let, let, let go back to when your your friend, mm -hmm. the Filipino who wanted to help you. Yeah. You were in his chair. Okay. Yeah. And he came telling you, hey, come on, I'm bringing a prostitute to mm -hmm. so go out. Mm -hmm. It is you said you go to help me. Yes. Okay, they did please. Upon no, all the what I did, I, I, I did for him mm. in Lagos. Upon all the guests I provide for him. You know, Sima is a Sima. They like woman more than anybody in this world. <laughs> hey. Yes, Sima, no way. Every port that they arrive, they have to hammer. But you are also a seaman. Yes, I mean, I'm a seaman. Do you like women? Well, honestly speaking, I I okay, fine, fine. I, I said twice. You know, <laughs> I, I signed off. I signed ship, and I was working the ship for twice. I was proper sign on mm -hmm. in the boat. My first ship was uh, they call it Lugos. Mm -hmm. My first my sign first sign ship. Mm -hmm. The second one was Aegis Larry. Mm -hmm. It was a big ship. It was signed on in, in uh, Tekan Island. Mm -hmm. Clean signed on. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, I did, but it wasn't much. So, you've been to how many ports so far? A, a lot. I've been so many ports, especially with the Aegis Larry. We load cargo from Tekan Island to Rio de Janeiro and then from no to receive it. Then from receiving we went to Victoria and then we got six months contract loading iron ore from Brazil, Argentina to Shanghai. Okay? And then also we we load sugar from Brazil to South Africa. So I know uh Cape Town, Durban, and East London in South Africa. Oh, okay, 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 that's fine. Uh, Mr. Collins, I'm one. Yes. Uh, a Ghanaian based in UK, UK, London to the precise. Not London, yes. Okay. Around the 13 hours. Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, how's life now? Uh, life is so great. Because you see, yeah, I've identified myself to know who I am as a person. So I respect human beings because I know who I am. 
So as far as I know who I am, I have to portray myself in people's life. So I respect everybody, whether you're young or old. I give you that respect because I respect myself. So I have to use that respect to everyone that comes from my way. But, you know, I'm a Ghanaian. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud to be a Ghanaian. I'm CK for your respect. Subscribe to Television CK for your exclusive interviews. Tap tap say, Adam. Any day, bro. Send his coffee and butcher, bro. Sha sha sha. Sha we. Ya bro. Any enemy. Ya grow. Ay ay ay. Me ne pia. Ya beshi mo. Any enemy. Ya grow. Ay ay.